Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans. Today, we're back to work on our E4OD here. We left off last time removing half the drivetrain, which I have out on my workbench already here. And I'm going to lay another layer of towels here, and we're going to get our elbows deep into the E4OD here and start removing the next portion of the drivetrain. If you like what you see and you're tuning in for the first time, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, tell us what you think, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The weather is turning very, very nicely here in Central Oregon. I am so, so ready for summer to get here. And I can't wait to get this transmission in a timely matter back into the $200 truck. So we might be able to do some towing or something with it. Maybe tow the boat to the lake or even try to tow the camp trailer or do something crazy with it once we um, get this transmission repaired this year or this, this spring. Also, if you guys are tuning in for the first time, this uh, transmission that we're working on came out of our $200 truck. It's a 1992 OBS F-150 extended cab. Uh, go check out some of our videos on that thing. All right, guys. So we're halfway through the drivetrain. Last step we did, we took on the last video, was we took out the, uh, what is known as the transmission's middle support. Uh, we're staring down at the friction plates that make up the intermediate clutch pack that makes up first to second gear. So I'll go ahead and pull those out. Should be a large plate. The very top one should be a large one, a thicker one. which it is should be a friction plate which it is doesn't look burnt interesting another plate Ooh. another friction these are 72 teeth I do believe on these uh, friction plates in gears here. Another friction. Or uh, another steel plate, then another friction plate. Oop, grab that last big metal plate down there. Maybe that'll all just pop out. There we go. That's another friction plate. And then the last big thick steel plate. All right, guys, now the intermediate band is next. And there's a stud down here, a bolt. You just push this over to the side. I'm pretty sure this band is supposed to have material on it. It looks all cracked and... Okay, there's some material on it, but it's... It looks different, and the band feels really loose. I don't know. I might be wrong, I'm, I'm, but I think this is... Something don't feel right here with this band compared to the video that I've been watching. All right, the next uh, thing you're looking at down there is the Sprag, Intermediate Sprag Assembly. It to the left, or counterclockwise, it does not engage, but towards clockwise, it does engage, like a clutch. Kind of cool. But anyway, I'm going to lift that out next. Okay, if the washer, the washer down here, needs to come up. This is the clutch drum that comes on when you put the lever into drive is all I'm told. There was another name for it. That's coming out next. There's a, there's a bearing right there, race that runs around. We'll set it aside. Oh, that one's that one's puked. This is a bearing with a race on it and she's puked. Oh no, it's kind of puked. Yeah, this is kind of puked. Well, 
you know what I just seen? I see metal fragment. There's some metal fragments down there in the sun gear. I'm starting to get metal. I'm starting to get metal on my uh, my gloves. I think we're down in the, where the problems were. Debris in the sun gear. doesn't want to just pull out like the guy. Ooh, I found problems. Well, that makes sense. I'll show you guys in a second what I found. Um, okay, so the output shaft, the splines on it are rounded off. O-F-F -F off. I don't know how I'm gonna get the sun gear off the Holy shit, Batman. Well, that makes sense why um, it broke. All right, guys. So now we've I found the problem. We've got a shaft. The main shaft out of the back of the, the rear tail shaft is rounded off. And it's not allowing the sun gear to come out. And the drive, I was, the last uh, planetary we pulled out actually came out in one piece and it should have came out in two pieces. And I'm all, what's going on? I'm missing a part here. The guy in the video is saying that this sun, um, this planetary should be next. And I'm looking for the planetary and all I see is the sun gear. And I go over to the last, the last part that I pulled out, which was the main drive, whatever I said on the video. Um, that is rounded off and locked together so we've got problem there's our shenanigans right there and i'll show you that in a minute but right now i've got this puller down here because i can't get the sun gear out of here so i can't mess up anything because it looks like the sun gear's got some damage on it and that shaft's got damage on it so we're just going to try to carefully pull this out with the puller i don't know what else to do he doesn't really in the video talk about you know if you run into these failures what you should do all right now let's go ahead and pull this damn sun gear out of there it's coming it's coming what would you guys would have done would you guys have done the polar method that i'm doing here something else let me know in the comments below i thought about prying on it with a screwdriver through the case but then i was like yeah that's dumb that's dumb okay we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the screwdriver get hold. oh got it Got the sun gear out of there. Yeah, you can see, guys. There's metal sh debris. And and look, there's uh, witness marks there, and there's witness marks there where something was rubbing on it. Very interesting. Next should be a three or four place washer, brass washer. Come on, girl. There you go. Look at the, look at all that wear on this. All right, guys. So next is the reverse, um, reverse clutch hub. So we were, that was in the, that makes sense. What we were just messing with was all the, the forward gears. So we're going to go ahead and lift out the uh, reverse planetary, maybe, boom, there she is, I guess we're going to go ahead and set this aside. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the clip or the ring down here. That'll allow the output shaft to fall to the ground. Just finally got this. It's been about two hours later. I got, uh, I went to the store and bought some uh, new, brand new snap ring pliers. Two seconds with the new pliers. Boom, done. Look at that. These are old ones crap compared to these these are the ones if i like them i'm glad that i went to the store and bought those they were 15 bucks but we're moving right along 
Next step. Oh, real, real quick before we go to the next step, I'm gonna grab that shaft that fell down. Uh, so you got your park, your park gears on there, and look at that. I guess we don't need a new shaft. I guess I shouldn't have let it drop to the ground. I think I can clean these out. No. The deeper I'm getting into this transmission, the harder it is to remove parts. Come on. Got her. This is all the reverse, low reverse clutch pack right here. All right, guys, um, at this point, I have to lay the transmission down and hook up compressed air to it to blow this, um, well, I don't know what this is called, but I gotta blow that part and basically put air to it and it blows it out. So our conclusion is this far that this shaft, the output shaft out of the back of the transmission I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it looks like the teeth are still there, but all that metal is melted down. I could probably take a screwdriver and uh, probably get that out of the grooves there. It's pretty melt. Like, see, see, see that? Look at that. So. What do you guys think? Do you think I'd be able to clean this out? Or I guess we're just gonna have to buy a new shaft. The teeth on this shaft don't look bad. It's just the metal from that planetary inside of it where that shaft sits. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me get some light on the situation. So you can see It's just rounded off where there's supposed to be grooves there. And this planetary, um, this planetary right here is supposed to come up and out of that and it won't come up and out of that, um, whatever this was called. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to mess with this one. Our problem's right here. I'm 100% convinced that this problem is right in this cluster of this group. So I am all the way disassembled except for one part there's one part still down in there and uh it's not too difficult to remove i just don't have kyle here to help me move the case but i need kyle here to put the case down so we can undo some bolts on the on the back side to release that and i think you got to put some compressed air to it to get it to pop out but other than doing that step this case can be clean now and it can go to the hot tank so i'm excited this is um this is way easier than i thought it was going to be i i who knew don't tell yourself you can't do something i'm telling you if you, if, if you guys have a transmission you want to save some money and you've got some tools and some general know-how shoot go for it with that being said i'll see you in the next transmission video remember to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time on Central Oregon Shenanigans. See you.